Question 1. How many extraocular muscles are present for each eye? A3, B4, C5, D6. One superior rectus, two inferior rectus, three medial rectus, four lateral rectus, five superior oblique, six inferior oblique. Question number two. Where is the origination of all rectus muscles? A. Annulus of Zinn, B. Roof of Orbit, C. Ethmoid Optical Canal, D. Orbital Plate of Maxilla. Question number 3. Where is the origination of all oblique muscles? A. Annulus of Zinn, B. Optic foramina, C. Orbital plate of maxilla, D. Both B and C. Superior oblique originates from above and medial to the optic foramina and inferior oblique rounded tendon from orbital plate of maxilla. Question number 4. Which are the nerves that supply all the extraocular muscles? A. 3rd cranial nerve B. 4th cranial nerve C. 6th cranial nerve D. All of the above Lateral rectus muscle is supplied by abducens nerve, 6th nerve Superior oblique is supplied by trochlear nerve that is the 4th nerve and rest all the muscles are supplied by oculomotor nerve Question number 5. Uniocular eye movements are called A. Versions B. Versions C. Duction D. Both B and C. There are 6 unilateral movements. 1. Adduction 2. Abduction 3. Supraduction 4. Infraduction 5. Incycloduction 6. Excycloduction Question number 6. Movement of eye towards the nasal side in vertical axis is called A. Adduction B. Abduction C. Superadduction D. Infraduction If an eye moves to the nasal side, whether it is left eye or right, that movement is called adduction. Question number 7. Movement of eye towards the temporal side in vertical axis is called A. Adduction B. Abduction C. Superadduction D. Infraduction If an eye moves to the temporal side whether it is left eye or right that movement is called abduction. Question number 8. Which unilateral movement takes place if an eye looks upward? A. Adduction B. Abduction C. Superadduction D. Infraduction This upward movement is called supraduction. Question number 9. Which movement takes place if the right eye rotates along the anterior-posterior axis nasally? A. Supraduction B. Infraduction C. Incycloduction D. Excycloduction This movement of the right eye nasally is called incycloduction. Question number 10. Which movement takes place if the right eye rotates along the anterior-posterior axis temporally? A. Supraduction B. Infraduction C. Incycloduction D. Excycloduction <laughs>